Tuesday, Valentine's Day. That means roughly 145 million Valentine's Day cards to be exchanged, 36 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolates to be sold, and approximately 23 million stems of Valentine's Day flowers expected to sell. And brother, that is a lot of love. It sure is. And today we are talking about the flowers, you get them, and you hope you can keep them around for a while. And you can, but it takes some care. Care like the kind our friend Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension Office can show us. Real quick, though. <laughs> absolutely, Real absolutely, quick. yes. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Oh, heavens, Eagles. Eagles? Eagles You're an Eagles fan. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take long. Yeah, no, it's right there, right, there, right, right, all right. Well, they're just above us, you know? We have yeah. to keep the, the, the Northeast together. That's right. There oh, you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So there truly is a way that we can make our... That's one of the things with Carol. I've, I tend to get her a plant instead of a flower because the flower eventually goes away. That's very true, and plants last for a long, long time. Yeah, but yes. there's, we can help these things stay right. Absolutely, absolutely. So with roses, what we've done before, and I know that Katie did this last week, but uh, with roses, um, if you can go ahead and cut them uh, underwater and at an angle, right. and then every other day, take them out, fresh water, fresh cut, put them back. They will last so much longer just by taking care of them like that. Oh, which I didn't do the fresh yeah. cut, that's yes. what I didn't do. I kept changing the water, I wouldn't do the fresh cut. There you, there you go, go. Oh, there you, you go. Mm -hmm. You can also get other kinds of flowers that are so much more affordable and they don't need all that extra work, like uh, the carnations, they are wonderful. They have a light, spicy fragrance and they're really, really nice and, and they last for three to four weeks. Wow. Yes, I have some that were a bit six weeks old and they're kind of looking tat tatty, so anyways. But <laughs> um, I've got some tulips there. They're awesome. They, they're they beautiful bright red tulips with the green and they're dancing in the sunlight and all that kind of stuff. But they will last for a good long time and they don't need any extra um, any extra additives to the water. Right. So like for instance quite often you add like flower food or you could just go ahead if you are not into adding chemicals you can go ahead and get a, a can of Sprite. Not the diet one, but regular Sprite. It's got the uh, set the acid in it because it's very acidic, right. and that lowers the pH of the water, killing all the bacteria. And it's got the sugar that the plants need to, to have a little bit of sugar food. I think we both reacted the same <laughs> way. No I have never heard that. Oh, absolutely, that's working. And, and then the, yeah, the little ones, the Ostromeria, they are so affordable, um, and they last forever forever and they're they're wonderful too because like for instance these right here I have these stargazer lilies they are spectacular yeah. one of the things that you have to do with them is you want to go ahead and pull off the anthers now the anthers are real pretty uh, they're bright bright orange and if you touch them they're gonna get on your hand if you put your nose on them oh, yeah. your nose is gonna be orange so I'm gonna just go ahead and pull them off with just to get a like a Kleenex like this just take Completely off. Just take them off, totally. Now what this does is it, it fools the, the flowers for thinking that the pollinators haven't come to visit them. And then you have to keep on blooming because they keep thinking, okay, a pollinator's gonna come by and get me. No, mm-mm. Yeah. And they last and last. So the other thing I would do though, because these are so sticky, I would go ahead and, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to make one quick cut because that's who I am. And I'll clean up after me. So what I would do is I would add some of the Ostromeria just to fill in because these starlight oh. gazer lilies are so pretty, but they're still pretty naked. Yeah. So I'm just going ahead and toss these in. And then if you had some ferns or something like that, you could do, but even just that. Yeah, makes that's it gorgeous. So much gorgeous. And you know, when you, when, you, when you send flowers too, obviously a lot of flowers are delivered on Valentine's yes, Day. Yes. You got to think that they've already, it's been a while since they've been cut. Absolutely, absolutely. So the first thing you do is you want to go ahead, fresh water, add the additive or, or the spray, and then you want to make a fresh cut. Mm -hmm. And you always want to do it at an angle because your, your container's got a flat bottom, and if you have a flat cut, then a flat bottom. It, it, Seal. You don't oh. get the water. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So even something like the stargazer lilies, I would once a week go ahead and take about a quarter to a half inch off just so that it's always fresh water going in there. And then you get to play with the flowers, and they'll be gorgeous. So I hear things all the time about what you need to put in the water to help them last longer. Right. Aspirin. Nope. 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 If you have a headache, you can take one of those, but, <laughs> but don't put it in water. <laughs> your flowers don't get headaches. No. Anything else come to mind? That, that don't well, people in like to put pennies in it. No, don't put pennies in it. Pennies? Yeah, I, I don't. I, the, the, the copper. 
Yeah. Supposed to break down. Okay. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. So. I'll do but no, no, you need to. You know, the flower food um, has sugar for the plants, which right. is really important because they need them. They're flowering. Um, it also has uh, a, a way to make the water a little bit more acidic, which kills, like I say, all the bacteria and the little fungi that would be there, so that the clear water will go up all the stems all the time. There you go. Yes. Yeah. All right. Jenny Rosencrantz, always brightening up the studio with your smile and smelly. your flowers. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for Happy having Valentine's me. Day. Happy, Happy Valentine's Day for all of you. And thanks for letting me bring my flowers. Anytime. <laughs>